Have you ever wondered about the implications of drug laws in Malaysia? This Southeast Asian nation takes a hard stance against narcotics, with some of the strictest drug laws in the world underpinning its fight against the illicit drug trade. The Dangerous Drugs Act of 1952 is at the forefront of this battle, a piece of legislation that has shaped the nation's approach to drug offences. This act allows for what's known as double presumptions, a controversial provision that shifts the burden of proof from the prosecution to the accused. Under this act, if a person is found to possess a substance deemed dangerous, they are presumed to not only have knowledge of the drug, but also presumed to be trafficking it, unless they can prove otherwise. Yet, the bedrock of criminal law, the presumption of innocence, was notably absent from these drug laws. However, a landmark decision by the federal court in 2019 changed the course of these laws. Let's take a moment to cast our minds back to the case of PPV Alma Nudo Atenza. The bench, led by then Chief Justice Richard Melangem, brought a seismic shift to the landscape of Malaysia's drug laws. They found Section 37A of the Dangerous Drugs Act, which allowed for double presumptions in drug trafficking cases, to be unconstitutional. This pivotal decision essentially struck down the double presumptions for drug trafficking under the Act. To put it in simpler terms, the court ruled that it was unlawful to automatically assume someone was guilty of drug trafficking based on possession and knowledge alone. This was a groundbreaking development, as it ensured a more balanced approach to proving guilt or innocence. This decision marked a significant shift in how drug trafficking cases would be handled going forward. But what does this mean for the future of Malaysia's drug laws? The landmark decision to strike down double presumptions in drug trafficking cases marks a shift in the legal landscape. It effectively redistributes the burden of proof, restoring balance in the courtroom. Prosecutors will now need to work harder to establish guilt, rather than relying on the accused to prove their innocence. This decision could also set a precedent for other laws that may undermine the presumption of innocence. It serves as a reminder that even in the face of serious crimes like drug trafficking, the cornerstone of our criminal justice system remains. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. It's a new chapter for Malaysia's drug laws. The change will likely bring challenges, but also opportunities for a more just legal system. As we continue to fight the war on drugs, it's crucial to balance the need for strict laws with the fundamental principle of innocent until proven guilty.